from Drakenzing, Dungeon Siege 3, Episode 37, Chasing Jane. A long way from that filthy swamp, haven't we? You've given us a victory that will be remembered for years to come. Escorting you to the causeway is the least that we can do. Are you ready to go? Alright, Roderick is all of a sudden my fast traveler. That's pretty interesting. Yes, let's head to the causeway. He has a magic carpet or something. Transported me to the causeway. Head back to that Odo guy again. Haven't seen him in a while. So I'll probably just skip ahead. Nothing else over here. Heading back into the Grand Chapter house. Reunite with that older guy. We've had rumors of another battle. Is it true? Jane Cassinda's army retreating in disarray? Disarray is too kind a word. I might say panic or terror instead. And Rosalind, what did you think of her? Worthy to wear the crown or no? She's a little naive, but I think time will tell. She's young and soft-hearted. With guidance, she could become strong. Soft-hearted is a bit of an understatement. Tell them how she asked us to be nice to Jane Cassinda. I think that bodes well for us. Strength can be learned. Empathy and compassion cannot. What about our proposal? Does she favor the Legion? Rosalind agreed to an alliance. She and Devonsey gave their word. Well done. But that's not all, is it? The news can't all be good. Hmm. Jane has a secret. Jane Cassinder is the daughter of the old king. She told me herself. You never knew? I always thought that was just a rumor. This changes things. If Jane Cassinder is the old king's daughter, then she has a claim to the throne. Probably thinks it's her right. Better to strike now while she's off balance. Still reeling from her loss at Glitter Delve. Right, let's see here. Use the causeways. We need an army. Let's negotiate. Maybe we can sneak attack her. Try to pretend that we are negotiating for peace and then strike her from behind. Or maybe Jane will listen to reason now that she's tasted defeat. You bloodied her nose and you stung her pride, that's true. But the army you destroyed was only a small part of her strength. If we try to talk, we'll only give her time to rebuild. We need an ally who can distract her forces while we go after Jane herself. We've already sealed an alliance with the Meisters. Perhaps they'll lend us their automaton army. Exactly what I was thinking. Let's get the robots on our side, as long as they don't. Randomly try to kill us again. Jane could be anywhere. Do you know where she's gone? Jane's capital is five days' march from here, maybe more. She calls it the Spire. Half cathedral, half fortress. On the summit of a mountain. That's where she'll be. The most impregnable stronghold in Ebb. They better help. We saved their city and their lives as well. The Meisters have no right to refuse. Go and speak to them. The council might be cautious, but I think they'll honor their word. They better have. We saved their asses. Well, I did. And Lucas. Shopkeeper's down here now. Oh, wait, that's not the shopkeeper. I should apologize. I left traps and wards to guard this place. They were meant for looters, not for you. Just spend time here. You visited the chapter house often? Quite the opposite. I avoided this place and all the memories it stirred. It seemed wrong to set foot here when all my brothers and sisters could not. Let bygones be bygones, right? As long as you help me. It's alright. You were trying to protect the chapter house. 
Jane buried the legionnaires in a mass grave outside of town. Unmarked, of course. Might as well have been a midden pit. This chapter house was as close a thing to a monument as they had. You understand. It was important that I keep it safe. Alright, old gent. Let's go take out that JK person. There's a powerful ally right there. Alright, so my current quest on holy ground, address the Meisters. Go get some automatons to become part of my army. Who's this? Oh, these are just some random people from Stonebridge. Good luck with the Meisters. They owe you their lives. I know they'll agree to help. Doesn't look like it's close by, so I'll skip ahead. So I'm getting go inside the Meister Hall. See right here. Let's go talk to those goblins. See if maybe they can help me or not. Ah, the envoy from the Tenth Legion. Always a pleasure to receive our good friend. We plan to attack Jane Cassinder, but we can't defeat her alone. The Legion needs your automaton army. And leave our city undefended? That, uh, seems rather rash, does it not? Irrelevant. We made a contract with the Legion, Meister Grimmelhouse. The Council is not above the law. I... I suppose... Capital! I can have the automatons ready in short order! Shall I make ready to leave? I should warn you, we may not return to Stonebridge again before this war is over! How many automatons do we have exactly? How many automatons are left? I destroyed a lot of them. The gent only managed to take control of about half of our automatons, and not all of those were destroyed, so the army is intact. Jane's forces may outnumber us, but her soldiers have never faced automatons before. I dare say that will work in our favor. All right, let's go kick some ass then. I don't see any reason to wait. We'll leave for the spire as soon as you're able. Hmm. The spire stands atop Mount Jared. That's a week's march from here, on foot. Our automatons will assault the town of Aegis Bay at the foot of the mountain. They'll engage Jane's forces and provide a distraction, you say. That will give you a chance to climb the trails to the top of the mountain and assault the spire itself. It will be an honor to fight alongside the Legion, and may fortune smile upon our endeavor. At long last, the tide turned. No longer was the 10th Legion fighting a defensive war. With the automaton army of Stonebridge behind us, we took the battle to our enemy. Under the command of Martin Giscard and Meister Wolf, our army poured forth from Stonebridge in a flood of iron and flame. The journey was a long one and difficult. Had you marched with soldiers of flesh and blood, I do not doubt that many would have died, but the automatons were tireless. At last you reached your goal, the Spire. Crowning the sacred mountain of Jereb, it was the heart of Jane Cassinder's strength. No army had ever conquered it. Azunite zealots and Stonebridge automatons clashed at the mountain's foot. Blind faith and cold reason struggled for dominance as the ground churned with oil and blood. Above the clamor of the battle, you ascended a forgotten path up the mountain, seeking the spire itself. Spire Bailey. Save right here. So I guess I went inside the castle. Took a alternate route. The walls are close here. If it comes to a fight, we won't have room to move. Look, sisters. The ones who killed Rajani are here. 
Our lady wanted us to see you, to mark and remember your faces, your eyes, and your raiment. <laughs> Do we impress you? You're lying. Jane is playing tricks now, trying to confuse us. Our lady has no need of tricks. If you try to flee this place, she will send us in pursuit and we must be sure of our quarry. You are a trial, set before us to test our strength. Jane has told us this is so. She hears the voices of our lost gods in her mind. She speaks to them in visions and dreams, and they will guide her true. They are obviously brainwashed by JK. What sort of visions does Jane claim to see? A misshapen tree, carrion birds, omens of what will come perhaps, if the Legion rises anew. What gods do you mean? The creator gods who we served long ago. We have no memories of them, but we have the stories that we tell, and faith that they are true. Jane commands the Azulite Church, but she worships these creator gods in secret? She does not deny that Azumai is real, but Our Lady's faith runs much deeper than that. Her followers could never understand. Azumai is only a pale reflection of the creator gods who came before. Jane's true faith, her secret faith, has always been to them, to the gods of her mother. So she's a hypocrite and a liar and a murderer. And uh, wants to be the queen, okay? Jane is filling her head with wild stories. She wants power, nothing more. No, we can sense when our sisters lie. Our lady may not tell us all she sees and hears, but her visions are real. You're obviously delusional, so I'm gonna have to take you out. We're going inside, whether you try to stop us or not. You won't get far. The door to the chancel is sealed shut, bound by the lives of our two most fearsome sisters. They lurk in the towers beyond the Bailey Garden. Expect no quarter from them, or from us if you try to run. One way or another, the Legion dies today. So they just ran away, just came to give me a message. Look at they just ended right here and now, but they ran away. Now this should be a challenge. Looks like Lucas is pretty happy fighting them. Ran right into the enemy. Without even giving any regards to protecting them. You're supposed to be my tank, look at the hell. You're switch in the middle of nowhere. Current level is 33. Getting close to the end, I think. Because I'm invading JK's castle. All of these are locked. It's locked. The switch is locked. Just have to kill these. What the hell is it? Goblins. Those are like the first people, almost. But those are Azanite assassins. A church that has assassins. There you go. Kill all of them, then, and then it unlocks. And 
it just randomly pops up. Just have to go around and turn those switches, open the gates, from one, one area to another. Mini boss as a night lieutenant. Looks like he's one of those sword and shield enemies. They even they even recruited uh, a cyclop as well. Yeah. What the hell happened to my automatons? I guess they're busy taking care of the Azumite people down there. Lucas is dead. Let me bring out my dog. Distract him while I go save Lucas. I'm not gonna bother um, going all over the place looking for loot. I'm gonna try to just try to complete the quest. If there's loot in front of me, I get it. If not, then I won't bother going over there. I guess I'll skip ahead. There's only me killing these things. Nothing much else going on. Close to the quest location. Save right here in case they randomly get killed. I guess it's on the top floor. Guardians, JK's henchmen. All is fire and blood and the screams of dying men. The stench of first gut sweltering heat of battle lust. Taste of copper and fear. Armies wheel and clash. Steel turns to flame in the morning sun. Forever and unchanging. War without end. War without end. What is this? The foeman seeks to steal a march. Two arms, two arms, may the line hold strong. Alright, so he's obviously psychotic. Holy shit. And pretty strong. Kind of similar to Anjali, using a spear, blowing fire attacks. Why are you always attacking me? I have done nothing to you. Lucas is the one that keeps smacking you around. I guess 
I just beat a decoy then. Live shooters. Oh damn! Almost two thousand damage. Right there. Right, I can dodge. If I press a quick, I can pretty much dodge her spear attack. Oh, nice. Take that to your ugly face. Actually, I can't even see her face. But I'm guessing she covered it up for a reason. Alright. I think I picked up a new weapon. That's pretty weak. Pretty much have all my best weapons from that DLC, Treasure of the, of the Sun. So after I completed that, I've been pretty much bossing. Everything sucks. I'm gonna go get this, open this treasure chest. What an interesting statue right there. What is she doing? Squatting down, looking over here. So I just came into this room just to kill that. Archon of War. I guess they have like four Archons or something. Or whatever. Archon of War, then there's another Archon. Archon of something. I'm probably gonna have to um, fight those two bastards that I met earlier. I forgot her name. Saria, Saraya, something. Nothing else going on here, so I'll skip ahead.